Nonga Wose was a Kosa prophetess whose prophecies led to the Kosa cattle killing movement and the subsequent famine of 1856 to 1857 in what is now Eastern Cape, South Africa. She was born around 1841 around the Kaha River in independent Kosa land. Little is known about her parents as they died when she was young. Nonga Wose was raised by her uncle, Mshagaza, who was a religious man a Kosa spiritualist who left Kosaland after his mother's death and spent time in the Cape Colony where he became familiar with Christianity. He returned to Kosaland in 1853. Mshagaza was to have a major influence on Nonga Wose's life, acting as an interpreter and organizer of her visions. During this time, the Kosa people were facing increased encroachment of their traditional lands by European settlers and tensions between the Kosa and the Cape Colony were high. In April 1856, when Nungausa was around 15 years old, she and her friend Nombanda were tending to her uncle's crops near the Kaha River when Nungausa claimed to have encountered the spirits of her ancestors. The spirits delivered prophecies that included instructions to slaughter all cattle abandon cultivation, build new houses and cattle enclosures, and make new milk sacks. She said that if they did this, the ancestors would rise from the dead and help them defeat the British. Kosa people were desperate for a way to defeat the British. They were also suffering from a drought and their crops were failing. So many of them believed in Ngausa's prophecies, resulting in the destructions of their means of subsistence. The cattle killing movement and the subsequent famine caused the death of tens of thousands of people. The Kosa society was profoundly impacted by this devastating event. In the space of a few months, the Kosa people destroyed almost all of their cattle and crops. They also abandoned their homes and villages. They waited for the ancestors to rise from the dead, but they never came. The result of the cattle killing was a famine that killed an estimated 40,000 Kosa people. It also weakened the Kosa people and made them more vulnerable to the British. Nongawusa's prophecies have been interpreted in different ways. Some people believe that she was a genuine prophet who was misled by her uncle. Others believe that she was a fraud who desperately misled Kosa people. Or others believe that she was a product of her times and that her prophecies reflected the desperation of the Kosa people. It is important to note that the information available is primarily derived from colonial records and oral traditions passed down through generations among Kosa people. As a result, there are varying perspectives and speculations around her motivations and the accuracy of her prophecies. Her life and the events she influenced continue to intrigue scholars and historians who seek to understand the complexities of this historical episode.